Under Indonesian rule, East Timor is a restricted area. Few outsiders witness the daily life of one of the world's most inaccessible guerrilla forces. The Indonesian army has pushed Falantil high into the mountains, but it has not been able to destroy it. Vastly outnumbered, Falantil now resorts to guerrilla tactics against one of the most powerful armies in Asia. Commander Tor Matan Ruak is Falantil's chief of staff. He controls around a thousand fighters based high in the mountains. His commander-in-chief, Shanana Gushmao, is six years into a 20-year sentence for subversion in an Indonesian jail. But his orders regularly reach Ruak and Valentil fights on. Although we want peace, we are not pacifists. We are a military and this war was imposed on us. For our self-defense, we took up arms. We lost hope, and we will continue to struggle until East Timor gains its independence. The resistance is split into four regional commands. In the face of Indonesian attacks, they've given up trying to maintain fixed bases and now patrol in mobile units of a few... You shit. Speak politely. We're both human. The clandestine front is very important and has always been the base for our resistance because without this popular support, we couldn't survive. Volunteer fighters get their weapons from the enemy. Each gun represents one dead Indonesian soldier. In July 1998, Falantil's four regional commands travel from their distant operation areas for a rare strategy session, advised referendum on East Timor's future. The radio exchanges between Falantil and the Indonesian army take a dramatic turn. That's right. Later, they will be more open to the people about what the problems are. After that, there is going to be a tripartite between Indonesia, Portugal and the UN. So now it's just a closed meeting between leaders. Over. We already know about the meeting. We already know what the governor said. He also backs the idea of a referendum for East Timor. We will never accept a ceasefire offered by the Indonesians until the process is under the United Nations.